Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube page, Adam Stargazing Astrology. Thanks so much for watching. So as we know, there have now been court allegations against Trump and Vance um, for some of the misinformation that Trump gave out during the debate, um, particularly about individuals um, eating cats and dogs. Um, and so now Springfield... Um, the city in which Trump said that uh, that this happened, um, they are um, retaliating against Trump and Vance, Trump and Vance, um, on behalf of um, of the uh, of the migrant workers that have come over, um, who are supposed to be uh, protected um, by the U.S. Um, so this uh, is starting a lot of controversy here. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk about uh, a couple of the astrology charts. Um, the first thing I want to do is I want to pull up the current chart and I want to look at um, what is going on right now as far as, um, you know, as, as, as far as things like karma. Um, so here is the, the current chart. Um, so the first thing I want to do is I want to look at uh, the planet Saturn. So Saturn is right here. I'm going to put an X by those planets. So Saturn represents the Lord of Karma. So Saturn right now is in what's called a retrograde position um, in the sky. And it's all about review. So it is harder to kind of get away thing, get away with misinformation when Saturn is in retrograde. Because again, the Lord of Karma um, really plays around facts as opposed to fiction. And as we know, a lot of this stuff, almost everything that Trump says is fiction. So this is an aspect that makes it harder for individuals to get away with things. Um, then another thing I wanted to look at too is the South Node. And the reason why the South Node is because the South Node has a lot to do with um, what has happened in the past and a past review on things. So here's the South Node. The South Node is sitting next to Black Moon Lilith. Black Moon Lilith has a lot to do with power and power structure and power dynamics. Um, so Black Moon Lilith, if you break that up, the word black, right, is all about dark. It's all about taboo, um, you know, and, and things along that nature. So taboos are being reviewed. Power structures are being reviewed with this position of the South Node. Um, that being said, if you take the analogy of a dragon's head and a dragon's tail, the dragon's head is the North Node. It's taking in information. Um, the South Node, as represented by the dragon's tail, is all about letting go and processing that information. So what Trump said right now, as far as the cats and dogs being eaten, um, and uh, a lot of these other lies, it's Almost, it's it's more of like a review that we're kind of seeing as opposed to, um, you know, something that um, is really going to really end up flying with the mass with the uh, with with the masses. Now, of course, he has his base, you know, Trump always has his base that he goes to and they will unfortunately believe anything. But as far as the courts, the court system is more ruled by Saturn. So that is definitely something that is good. So another thing I wanted to see is the planet Pluto. I wanted to look at Pluto. So I put an X near Pluto. Pluto represents the power structure. So Pluto is in that retrograde position as well. So again, this is a review of those power structures. Um, so between uh, Pluto, Saturn, the South Node, those things kind of being digested and let go of, it's not looking really good for him here. It's kind of looking at like whatever he's sort of saying um, is not really going to fly. And there's definitely a possibility it's going to be tested by the courts. Now, another thing I wanted to do is I wanted to look at Trump's astrology chart. I wanted to share some pretty interesting facts with you about um, some of his psychological dynamic and some of his karma. Um, so this right here, this is Trump's astrology chart. So the first thing that I wanted to point out here, which I thought was very interesting, is here's his planet Pluto. So I put an X by it. His Pluto is in the 12th house. 
The 12th house represents self undoing, the act of undoing oneself, and Pluto represents power. So this is this is the inevitable undoing of one's own power structures, which is really um, kind of where he's headed. Another thing that I wanted to talk about too is there's two planets right here. There's Saturn and there's Venus. So Saturn represents the Lord of Karma. Venus represents popularity. So Saturn puts restrictions to things. So this is an automatic restriction to things like finances and things like popularity. Um, popularity can only rise so high when you have a Venus Saturn. Um, and it ends up being a pre pretty controversial aspect. And the reason why is because Saturn really represents that limitation. It's like hitting a ceiling. And this, this aspect is very representative of the MAGA who follow him. He hit can only hit a certain ceiling in his popularity. And fortunately, that's not enough. Um, now, now, one of the other aspects I wanted to look at is his Chiron. So Chiron represents our wounds. So he has Chiron in the second house. Chiron in the second house has a lot to do with um, issues or uh, security issues, issues around finances, things like that. Um, so we know, you know, that he definitely makes up a lot, uh, you know, a, a, a lot of his personal wounds and his personal insecurities by boasting about how rich he is. Now, his Chiron is also sitting right next to his Jupiter. So it expands and it blows everything up. Um, so that is huge. So, um, I, you know, so between those Pluto and those, that, that Saturn, those Saturn aspects that I, that I talked about, um, you know, that, you know, those, those really have, you know, have a lot to do with, um, with how, uh, how popular he is and how he has hit that ceiling. So the next chart I wanted to look at is, I wanted to look at Vance's chart here. Uh, Cause they're kind of one in the same right now. Um, so let me look at some aspects with JD Vance. Okay. So first of all, he has his Pluto right here sitting in a wide conjunction, fairly close to the moon sign, which represents the needs. Those with the Pluto moon, there's, there's a need for power and there's a need for authority that goes on. So that's definitely something that's interesting. Another thing I wanted to look at, uh, which I saw right off the bat, is this Saturn right here is in the sign of Scorpio. Scorpio is a karmic sign, and Saturn represents those limitations. Whenever I see Saturn and Scorpio, that's a strong indication that there's some karma bound with things. Um, you know, the, the, the karmic signs, um, which tend to be the water signs, they're a little bit trickier to read because they have more to do with the uh, more to do with the emotional body and soul lessons. Um, and as we know, those can be tricky, but they're, you know, um, soul lessons around um, karma and responsibility for sure. Um, soul lessons around the Lord of Karma, right? Um, you know, which, which really has to do with that staying integrity, because I mentioned again, you know, stepping out of bounds creates more, uh, poor karma for yourself. So this is an aspect where he's kind of being tested. Scorpio has a lot to do with power. So his power is being tested here with this aspect. Another thing is he has his Mars in Scorpio. So Mars, Mars represents our energy resources, a Mars in Scorpio. Um, can also be a fierce, a fierce competitor and a fierce component, a fierce opponent and a fierce fighter. So he really has that um, under his belt. Also, another aspect I wanted to look at too is his Neptune is in a retrograde aspect. So Neptune, Neptune's the god of the sea. It represents um, illusions, delusions. Um, individuals with a strong Neptune aspect can be charlatans and kind of mold and meld themselves to those around them in order to try to get what they want. And we really see that this is what he's done. His Neptune is sitting next to Jupiter. So again, it expands that it expands those Neptune aspects. Um, and it really makes him an, an individual who 
who, you know, who, who really will do things only for his personal gain. So that being said, uh, Vance and Trump really marry each other in that way. Um, and it's, you know, it's, it's, it's kind of interesting here to, to analyze some of the, uh, the underlying karma and some of the underlying lessons that they both have. So that is my brief analysis. Uh, so what I can kind of, you know, what I can, um, you know, uh, summarize from this is that um, Saturn being in retrograde right now, it's a little bit harder to get away with all those lies as far as things like the court systems. Now we know that, um, you know, there are systems that are already established, like the Supreme Court, um, you know, but that is, that's, that's a different story. And I will definitely do a video on that soon. So please comment, like, and subscribe. And please let me know in the description box if there's any other videos that you would like me to, uh, to uh, post about that may be interesting. And I'm currently offering those astrology readings of all types. If you are interested, then please send me an email. Uh, and my email is in the description box. All right, everyone. I hope you have a great day. Take care.